All right, at the top of the stairs, we have a glass door that is lockable in case you want to section off a portion of the house. Uh, they did it for children, so the children wouldn't be able to come downstairs during a party. They wouldn't have to keep an eye on them. It's a great, nice, nice, great idea. It's also glassed in the entire way, so you have much more quiet up here uh, if you are entertaining or if you have guests over. We come to our left, extremely high ceilings, which of course is great for the cooling. Nice natural light. And the bedroom could easily fit a king size bed without issue. There's a little view into the courtyard. Again, mosquito nets on every window. Really beautiful. And mini split air conditioner in each of the bedrooms. As we come back the other direction, we have our closet, which is outside of the restroom as, as you like. And then the restroom itself, with the nice countertops, deeper sinks, which is nice, and a higher countertop area, uh, which for you and Kim is wonderful, as you're a little bit taller than most. Nice shower area, big, and of course, the toilet and natural ventilation, and nice natural light. As we come from this room, again, I wanna point out the edges are all immaculate. Maintenance-wise, this place is in incredible condition. As we move through, another thing that Edgar pointed out to me is to be able to wash the windows from the outside, they put in a ledge. So you can actually have somebody wash the windows without bringing a ladder, uh, which makes it very convenient. Nice big open air areas. As we come this way, this originally was used as an upstairs sala and, uh, or a gym, which is why they have the big mirrors on the side there. Um, this could easily be enclosed with a wall from here, back this direction and right over to where Edgar is standing, we would have a door. And that door would bring you into a completely separate bedroom. Uh, in that separate bedroom, you would then also have its own bathroom. And that would be a very easy and inexpensive addition, as there's also closets on the side here. Very deep area there for clothing storage. Natural light is abundant. And if you close this in, you would still have the natural light from the window up here. And you could put in a frosted glass window here to let a little bit more natural light in as well. And before we go to the master bedroom, I want to show you the laundry room, which would be across the hall from that bedroom. It's got a fan, which is amazing because it gets really hot when you're doing laundry. It's a huge laundry room. Nice area for folding, linens, again, natural light and natural ventilation. These are the stairs from downstairs that we were, that I was showing you before, uh, in case you have somebody coming in to do work. The laundry itself is here. The roof is loaded with solar panels, so your electric bill will stay nice and low. And then again, more storage over here that we left open so we could easily access it. And then of course your mop sink. And this is an outdoor access here, in case you want to hang clothes out. There's a little bit of an alignment issue on the closet doors there, but I'm sure not a big deal at all to resolve. Now let's go check out the master bedroom. So the master bedroom, as you enter, has some shelving and cabinetry here, which is very nice for your common things. And if we go to the left, it has a pocket door to separate your bedroom in case, from your restroom area in case you have uh, somebody still sleeping when you need to go take a shower. It's a large bedroom. It's got incredible views. From 
here you can see, of course, the golf course, as well as back there is Vedanta's golf course. And you can see down to your pool and backyard. If you look back this way, we'll see very high ceilings again with a mini split by train, so very good quality. Very sparsely furnished right now, so it gives you an idea of how, how much room there is and what you can do with it. I haven't, haven't asked yet, but the orange plugs usually mean they're on a backup generator or they're surge suppressed. So I'll check with Edgar and find out if he knows. As we come out of the bedroom, we we'll go across to the bathroom. They put in behind this uh, sliding door, barn door, a nice mirror, full length mirror. Off to the right, we have a little linen closet. And directly behind me, we have a nice walk-in closet with a mini split that you can put on drying mode. And pocket doors so you can separate it and keep the humidity out of your closet. As we come in, we have a makeup bench with nice natural light here. A door to the toilet. Nice double sinks, good space between them as well. They have a small child, so all there are a lot of toys around the deep jacuzzi tub. It is not a jetted tub. Um, so if that's important, we can have jets installed, of course. And then of course the shower area with dual shower heads. Nice, big, big shower. So that is the upstairs. And I'll send you some still photos as well.